Hello again. This is Accounting Nightmare. And welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. Today we're doing Mission 11. Mission 11, Fate. Uh, a couple upgrades I want here. Kick 13, levels 1 and 2. I'm going to be using that move in the boss fight. Offer the chalice and open the path. And here we have our first fight with the death scythe. So he's a little bit like the death scissor. Only different. He's got a very different attack pattern. As you can see we're not stuck in a cage like the death scissor does. Instead we're left to run around freely. Waiting for him to attack. What he actually does is he puts all these weird things on the ground. Are you going to attack or not? On. He puts all these weird things on the ground. He will launch you up like that. He takes the opportunity to try to hit you. So it's quite a different fight from the uh, death scissor. But you kill him with jump slashes, just like the death scissor. But that was a bit of a shortcut to where I was heading. <laughs> I was actually heading up here to get some items. So I'll go do that. Uh, while I'm running around, I was actually asked something about Mission 7. Uh, mission 7 was the one with the Guiding Light. And here's a Devil Star. So I was asked if the Guiding Light, it could, I was asked if it could actually kill you. And the answer is yes. If you run out of health, the guiding light will finish you off. And you don't get any special animation for that, sadly. Which is a shame, they could have done a pretty neat animation there. You could have had you suddenly explode into flames and then fall over dead. But yeah, the game has some special death animations. Blue Orb Fragment. Which are a bit like fatalities. If you get killed by an enemy in a certain way, you get a little, a nice little video. Well, it's not nice. It's pretty bloody horrible. <laughs> it's pretty bloody horrible to see that happening to your on-screen character. But there's some pretty brutal things that happen to him. And I'm going to be collecting some of them to put in my bloopers video. All right. I'm going to go down here. And down here is not nice. Quite dangerous actually. Lots and lots of blades. Yeah, lots of them. How many is there? At least six. Yeah. Grenade rolling. There's far too many of them to even try to get a critical hit on them with the shot. Up there. I'm just gonna grenade roll. They did. Oh, they did? They did. Oh, yeah. Little embarrassing thing here. I only just figured out how to do this. Charge up your gun. And you fire a nice devil triggered shot. You just hold the shoot button. For some reason, I thought you had to do it in devil trigger state, which never worked. So I was quite confused, but I've got that working now, and that works with uh, all three guns. Get away from this wall and get out of there because more blades. God, so many blades in this freaking little, little world. There's a hole in the ground. It's like a blade party. Give me my red orbs. Thank you. Might as well finish him off. What are you doing? Yeah, you're dead. Give me my orbs. Thank you. Thank 
you. Build fragment, but I'm not going to click that just yet. I'm going to be coming back through here, so I'll grab it then. Now we're in this little area. What's in here? A sign of chastity. Now we need this to get another item in a few moments. Uh, it's kind of like a trading sequence. There's a platform up there. You can get up there. Thank you. Red orbs. Oh yeah, this is kick 13. That's not kick 13. This is kick 13. It's kick. <laughs> it's kick. But um, the real beauty lies in it when you use it devil triggered, which I'll show you in the boss fight. I don't want to waste any trigger right now. Alright, so that little pit, that is now a hill. Because I've broken the uh, wall, so all of the blades will all be together trying to kill me. So I'm not going to take any chances here. Inferno! 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 Oh, the last one got interrupted. Yeah, look at all that death. Alright, pull this one off. So, you can very easily get chain hit to death there. You can get hit by one of them. And then there's just so many of them that they'll just hit you over and over. And you'll be stuck flinching until you die. It's quite horrible. <laughs> And blew up fragment. I'm pretty sure they upped the number of blades for Dante Mostamo because I don't remember having that trouble for normal and hard. Now I saved that blue orb fragment because I just got a full blue orb, so that was a health refill if I needed it, but I didn't end up needing it. Okay, secret mission that I haven't done yet. Let's go do that before we go finish this. Secret mission, Wandering Ghosts. So in this mission, there's a whole bunch of thin scissors floating around. We have to bounce off of them and collect the blue orb. If you haven't got air hike, this will be annoying. If you have got air hike, it's not too bad. You just jump. You should eventually... Yeah, got it. So yeah, get air hike. Uh, uh, don't bother firing them. They don't exactly give it a whole lot of orbs. Alright, let's go finish this mission. Got all the items that, um, that I can think of. Yeah, pretty sure we have everything. Also, a little interesting thing I haven't mentioned before, but when you're in Devil Trigger form, you actually regenerate health on the easier difficulties. But they took that away for Dante Must Die mode. Which, uh,. You don't notice how useful it is until you go without it. Alright, we're looking forward to this fight. Prove yourself worthy with the sign. Yep, we use the sign of chastity we just got. And in exchange we get the chalice. But I don't care about the chalice because of this. Favorite boss. Oop, that was a waste. So that was kick 13 I just did. That super fast combo. It launches into it automatically. So I really love Ifrit for this fight. Or Ifrit. Ifrit? Oh, that was really the worst possible move I could have done. Because I just got hit in the middle of that inferno. Break through his blocks nicely with Ifrit. 
keep him off guard. Alright, keep 13. Ooh, scared me. Ooh, scaring me more. Why trying to kill me? Wham! Fully charged, hits the break through his block. He keeps scaring me by trying to counter attack. I'm not sure if I'm going to interrupt him or not. <laughs> Inferno. So you don't usually use Inferno against him because it doesn't stop him from hurting you. <laughs> As you saw earlier, I lost most of my health in one nasty hit. <laughs> you may have noticed that my health is spilled over into two bars. You can't see that now because I'm low on health, but it's started to go in. Oh, where am I? It started to go into two bars. By the time we've got all of our health, we'll be at two full bars. Ooh, damn it. <laughs> He's good at scaring me. I'll give him that. What's he doing? Probably not something good. Yep. <laughs> Damn, I love if we this fight. Two fighters with completely different fighting patterns at this point. I'm over here. His sword's glowing, I don't like when his sword glows. It means he's trying to kill me. Ooh. Okay, this guy can cut through you right when you think he's not going to hit you. Damn, I saw that coming, couldn't stop it. Well, there's actually some health I can pick up around here, but I'm going to see if I can do it without. Picking up any extra health. It's probably a very stupid move on my part. Ooh. Yeah, take that. God, this guy's my favourite boss. Even though you can dismantle me if I'm being stupid. Roll over and die. Yeah. Got the heart racing. That's why I play this game. Awesome fights like that. Really, the reason I really love that fight is because um, Nello and Jello isn't predictable. You don't really know what he's going to do. He could pull out any one of his combos at any time. Should I use the chalice? Yes, Dante. Yes, it's always yes. It's always yes. Yeah, he's quite unpredictable. It's a completely fluid fight. You have to be on your toes at all times. Attack, counter attack. Really fun fight. Give me that health, thank you. So now we're allowed out through this door. And this door leads somewhere special. You're not going to find out where to an mission. Oh, thank you. That time I had another S rank. I've been doing badly lately. Save the game because that was a good recording. 
Yep. Alright, um, anything else? Oh yeah, actually there was something I wanted to explain about the Griffin fight back in Mission 9. There was a little trick I used. You may be wondering how I had so much Devil Trigger in that fight. It never really seemed to run out. That's because I used a cancelling Devil Trigger trick. Basically you activate Devil Trigger, you fire a couple grenades, and then you deactivate Devil Trigger right after firing a grenade, but before it hits Griffin. And what that does is you actually get De Devil Trigger back when the grenade impacts. So you can go for pretty long stretches firing DT grenades without actually running out of DT. And DT is Devil Trigger. And um, so that's a really, really nice strategy to use there. It's quite easy once you get used to it, you just got to get into the rhythm. And you have to do at least two grenades between cancelling Devil Trigger because you can't activate it and then immediately deactivate it, I've found. I always have to go at least two. Three is probably a better number because you get quite a lot of Devil Trigger back from that grenade. Yeah, they will up your damage output against him quite a bit. I think that's all I have to say. Our uh, next mission is quite interesting actually. Quite interesting. So I hope you'll join me for it with mission 12.